By now you know the story of Rick Wershe, the longest serving nonviolent juvenile offender in Michigan history. We have extensively chronicled his long fight to get out of prison. Oh, we sure have. Well now, Hollywood has taken a crack at it. Matthew McConaughey has signed on to play a major role in the movie. Tonight, the man known as White Boy Rick talks to Kevin Dietz from behind bars, hoping Hollywood helps set him free. In Hollywood, they say a big budget movie doesn't get a green light until a huge star is attached. Well, the story of white boy Rick Wershey just got one of the biggest names in Hollywood. Lights, camera, action. The white boy Rick Wershey story just went from a movie to a major motion picture with the signing of Oscar winning actor Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> he is the star of A Time to Kill, The Lincoln Lawyer, We Are Marshall, Magic Mike, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Nominated for his TV work in True Detective and winner of the biggest prize of all, Best Actor for Dallas Buyers Club. From behind bars, Rick Wershey tells me he's beyond thrilled. He's just an outstanding actor. He's great. I couldn't have asked for a better person to, to be the lead in, in the movie about me and, you know, to play my father. But now that you have someone like him, a major Hollywood star, I think people will take more time and, and really look into the facts. Where she became a police informant at the age of 14 on Detroit's east side. The feds sent the miner to Las Vegas for the Tommy Hearns Marvin Hagler fight to eavesdrop on some of the biggest dope dealers from Detroit. After he was shot, law enforcement stopped paying the teenager for information, and he turned to selling drugs. Busted at 17, with 17 pounds of cocaine, he was sent to prison. Inside, he worked with police again, helping bust then Mayor Coleman Young's niece and brother-in-law, along with nearly a dozen dirty cops. Most cooperating drug dealers busted as minors would spend less than a dozen years behind bars. Worshi will be in for 29 years next month. The truth is, I was never what I was made out to be. I don't know if it will necessarily get me over the hump. I, I think the only one that can do that is the parole board or the courts, but I think it will definitely show my case in a different light and show the true story, and, and that's what everyone hasn't seen. McConaughey is not the only big name attached to the movie. Jan Demange is one of the hottest directors in town following his critically acclaimed movie, 71. Producer John Lesher brought us the Oscar-winning best picture, Birdman. Scott Franklin and Darren Aronofsky produced Black Swan. Writers Logan and Noah Miller wrote Sweetwater. Scott Silver wrote the Eminem movie, Eight Mile. Andrew Weiss, the TV show, Punked. And Steve Cloves is the wildly successful writer of the Harry Potter movies. The team all working for Studio 8 boss, Jeff Robinoff who will distribute the movie through Sony Pictures. Rick Wershe hoping his ongoing incarceration will come to an end as the world sees his story play out on the big screen. I mean, it, it's, I've basically been kept in prison for 29 years based on lies and fabrications. There's so many good people behind this cause and, and all of them are outraged. The whole team that's making the movie is outraged that I'm still in prison. The movie will begin shooting here in Detroit and then move to Cleveland where the tax incentives are much better. They hope to roll cameras in March. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.